Activist group Anonymous has hijacked the website of the United States Sentencing Commission, which contains sensitive information pertaining to the U.S. Department of Justice. The group is demanding reforms to the justice system and threatening to release the classified information to the public. The threat was detailed in a video posted to YouTube. The group's latest act aims to avenge the suicide of Internet activist Aaron Schwartz. In the video, Anonymous says Schwartz had to play the game he could not win during his trial for illegally downloading millions of MIT files. It was a possibility of a 30-year prison sentence that pushed him to suicide. According to The Verge, before the USSC's website went down, it contained a message from the hacking group demanding changes to outdated, broad, and poorly envisioned legislation, the end of mandatory minimum sentencing, and a return to proportionality of punishment that takes into account actual harm caused. According to CNN, the hackers have a large amount of material for what they're calling warheads, or in other words, files containing sensitive information that they plan to use against the U.S. Justice Department and associated executive branches if their demands aren't met. They gave the warheads the names of U.S. Supreme Court justices such as Thomas.Warhead1 after Justice Clarence Thomas or Ginsburg.Warhead1 after Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Anonymous has targeted several other groups recently, including Westboro Baptist Church, the Guardian recounts how the group played a role in the small town rape case. In the small Ohio town of Steubenville, which has been rocked by rape allegations against several high school football players, the group has organized protests and posted evidence it says shows evidence of a cover-up of the alleged crimes. The FBI's Criminal Cyber Response and Services Branch is handling the hacking as a criminal investigation. The USSC's website was still down Saturday afternoon. For Newsy, I'm Neville Miller. Multiple sources, The Real Story.